Hi, Dr. Michael DiMattina, Medical Director at Dominion Fertility. So I just saw a patient last week. This patient actually underwent seven stimulated IVFs and only had two transfers. So the question today I want to ask and pose and have you think about how many stimulation cycles does one need to get pregnant? What's appropriate? What's inappropriate? She never got a second opinion until she had her seventh stimulation failure. And I was saying, oh my God, after one or two, start thinking about maybe I should look into this more deeply than initially. Because today, in modern reproductive medicine, most of my patients are pregnant after the first embryo transfer. That's a fact, that's not even open for question. So most of my patients, one or two embryo transfers, they're pregnant and gone. That should be for you too, because of the technologies we have available, the knowledge we know now that we didn't know 30, 40 years ago. So what I'm saying to you is, if it doesn't sound right, it may not be right, and you should look into this and take charge of your fertility and, and ask your doctor challenging questions, why didn't this work the first time? And what are we gonna do different? Doing the same thing over and over again. You know what that, the definition of, is insanity, right? Don't be insane. Instead, you take charge. You should be pregnant within one or two transfers most of the time. Three occasionally, and four, really? But seven stimulations? Unheard of. I haven't done that in 20 years. Dr. D. Matina at Dominion Fertility. Dominion Fertility, making miracles happen, one family at a time.